Okay. Anyways, um, I just went over a few halachas quickly and uh, the said of the Shulchan Aruch. The Svardam, I don't know if I mentioned it last time, the Svardam have a very interesting meaning. The Svardam are very makpid that only the Balabos sins. No one else. You know about this meaning? You, you know. That even by the Persians, only the uh, the Balabas. Yeah, no one. It's a, it's like as a bazaar. <clears throat> so my neighborhood is a Sfardi, uh, by the Wek, and his son asked me that he's in yeshiva, and his father told him not to light. In yeshiva. Yeah, I said to him that doesn't make sense. And that doesn't make sense because the net is shebeisa. You don't live at home. You're living in yeshiva the whole time. You come home uh, Pesach. Yeah, you told me you come on Pesach, you come on. But uh, and I looked up that the old the old Nevi'ilus Netz is sort of held, but the Svardim do is not right. Looks like it's a you do a, but the Svardim should have bonum try to answer it. It's like always, you know, so the try to answer. Why? Because the minig was strictly at home. A Bach is away in yeshiva. He's not living at home. Your son who's away when you guys were in yeshiva. How often did you come home? You know, you know, six months. Pesach. Pesach. So where was your home? Your home. You know, you call your home in the home, but you're really not home. Your home is a yeshiva. It can't be yoitzer, but the there. But he tries. I looked up at our what's this called the our shul? What's a mafcha shul? Whatever the the pesik and the svad shul pesik. What's Was Abba shul? What's his name? Anyways, he was the Sardar Shepaisi, which they follow, and I looked it up, and he tries to answer the Menik. But I saw the B'Shalom Zalman, and all say that, that it's not, it's not, uh, it's not the, uh, you know, the, I don't see anything from him. I don't see, I'm sure, but I didn't find, you know, it's not, uh, that run. anyways, what do you say? He asked I asked Rebbe Wake, he said, that's the meaning about the Svardim, and uh, looks like I see all the Svardim. Extremely, it's like a. No, that that you could, that I could swallow easily. The the bocha is in yeshiva. Father tells him not to light. Don't light. The many brothers father. It's not really. I, I thought for this that he's then and I, I look around. It's a many brothers. Wow. That uh, they held that uh, only the. Anyways, it's in the sound. We Ashkenazim don't have the minik. We Ashkenazim have a minik that every male lights. And the, the reason why the girls don't light, we would say, Kvedik bas melech pnimo. Girl belongs inside the house. So they didn't want that they should light. Men, men are the ones that light. It's, it's a famous thing. Men light the menorah, and women light the candles, Shabbos candles. Okay, let's move on. You know, there's a question. You know, how do you, how do you in Chabad the light? You light this way. You light from left to right. The first night you put it on the right. And then. And the second night in Ramayse, one more to the left. But we always begin with the new net. The new net. That's the mini goylem. You understand? Mini goylem is to light the new net and go from right to left. No, going from left to right. That's what's happening. From left to right. Well, if you're standing this way, your right hand. The reason it's your right hand because cope. Let me explain where it, this mini comes from. It says cope pinois ashepoina. You should always go to your right. Whenever you turn, you should turn with your right. You know, anyone has a coin over here? A coin when he goes up to duchen, when he turns around, the shulchan aruch says he has to turn with his right hand. Right, do it by you do it. When you go for aliyah, you should always go to the right. Yeah, if it's equal, it's your Yimach Gaba. Yeah, the Chudai is supposed to turn around with the right. And Kolpin is, so the question over here was, is should go with right? What's the question? Why do people mafakbik the Paiskim, the early Paiskim? Because how do we write? We write from right to left. But every letter itself, you write a letter, and you say, put it from left to right. 
Yeah, but uh, well, not every surf it does that way. <laughs> but, but the bottom line is, how do you read? How do you write from right to left? So the Mar de Levush argued, many of the Persian argued, so you should really uh, attack it this way, that you should start from this way. You, you understand? Yeah. But the many guess the reason that there some some say what the rabbi said, some answer because when you write us, if you know how to write Oseus, you write from left to right. That's how you're supposed to really do it. That depends uh, if you're right or lefty. That's not but yeah, that's said normally. But the you understand there's an interesting thing. In other words, the letter. The letter. No. Others answer a very kabbalistic answer. The levush. The Levush tries never to talk Kabbalah, but the Levush has a Kabbalah answer. You know, the Zohar Kudish says that the Rebbein Shleilam, when he wanted to, Rebbein Shleilam wanted to create the world, he says, but let me explain to you what he says. When he want, the, you know, the Rosh Hashanah, the Oisias go backward. You know that. Tishre, Stuf, Shien, Reish. The letters go backwards. When you blow the Shoifer, the Simonim is Tashrak. Kia, Shvorim, Tariya, Tekua. It's the Oisius going tov. You know what that means? Going backwards. The, the letters backwards. When the letters go backwards, it's been the Sadin. When the letters go forward, it's been the Sarachman. Tishra is Aleph, Tuf, Shi, and Reish. The letters going backwards. That's what the Zoe says. This been the Sadin. But Reish is Buddha Lekim, it's been the Sadin. But then the Bani Shlan Shitta, it's been so he says, and, 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 and here it's written this way, but Odom Elian it's written the other way. It's written backwards, it's written Tishrei. And the sound, that's what the Levush says. But this has to do with what you're saying now. Why do we go Tishrei that way? You understand what's the Mechoyot? Yes, it's the Levush, yes, but that's why they're the Levush, no? But that's the question, how to light. The Ahud lit the other way. And it's, uh, the meaning, I think the meaning all over is not, it's not that way. To, it's to light what, like... Uh, one guy told me that his father does it this way many years ago. But he's Ashkenazi. I told him, I don't know that uh, the many is not in the that way. You know, many often this man who came out some mistake. What do you say? Could be. Could, could also be he forgot. Chiev was the light outside. Let me, let me explain this again, because someone else called me and asked me how to speak about it. And, uh, uh, the, the, the Chiev is to light at the door. That was the Chiev, for the Simanissa. That means you should light at the door, people should see the Menorah. That's the Chiev. Secondary, if I'm putting it outside of the door, which side of the door should I put it? You follow? Yeah. That's like a secondary thing. You know, I'm like, the Ike Mitzvah Menor is Pesima Nisa. Pesima means to publicize the Ness. Now, it's, if I'm putting it outside, the Gemara says a second that if you're ready, put it outside, put it on the other side of the Mezuzah. So one side should be the Mezuzah, one side should be the Menor. Now, if I light it inside, the Zvana Rishonim, you know, to the Zvana, the Tor and all them, they, they only lit, um, what's his name? They only lit, um, I mean, inside. It was terrified to light, even by the window. So the Torah brings a machlekes. If she light inside, she light by the door. Well, there's no reason to write by the door. It's inside. Just make, put, don't put it in a place. The Torah brings it down. Don't put it into a place where normally you light. The Torah brings down. The two brings down. But some are marked so If you light inside, you should light at the door. Oh. Yeah, the Torah alone brings it already down. But that's a secondary thing. That means if a person cannot light at the door, nowadays you're not afraid of the going. Past you're supposed to light at the window. So I looked it up, I looked it up, the Minchas Yitzchak, he's a chesidish rabbi in Yerushalayim, so he lived in, the, he was nifted in the Lamed, Lamed Test, the Bamem, I think, I forget when he was nifted, but he tries to forever because the, most of the people in the so light outside, certain Admoirim, he writes, rabbis, to still light inside, and he's trying to say a teretz, a whole teretz, yeah. all of them today light inside. In not in Etzeson. Go ahead to saw the majority of the people. Go ahead to saw. No. The Reb is not. Just a few Rebbe's don't. But most of the Moinam, and that's the soul, everyone lights outside. By the door. Go to B'nai Barak, you to the Shrine. 
So the hadrim want to do it the right way. So the question, because that halucha, that's the. Uh, let, me, let me explain to you something in halucha. I know chassidim don't like this when I say this. I'm going to explain something in halucha. Halucha is this way. And, 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 and we brought minhogim down from Europe. So in Moshe, the Svardim, they tell me they, they never had a problem. They always light outside the Svardim. Svardim and soul never had a problem because they always lit. They, had, they're not, they didn't have the sinner as we. We Ashkenazim came out Christmas, always came out Hanukkah. It was terrifying to light outside. So I've never had the problem. Sending sleeping in the sukkah. We Ashkenazim never slept in the sukkah. Why? It was bitter cold. I mean, the Shulchan Uchar have discussed how much snow could be on the schach, the, you know, it's called schach. And how you know the, how freezing the the, the 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 soup? If it freezes, then you can go in. <laughs> it gets gets so freezing. The Sfardim never had this. They, were, they were lived in warm country. Then never was the meaning not to sleep. Question: We brought the meaning over here. Do we follow the meaning? You don't follow. We try to say teritzim. But in halacha, that's the history of halacha. Always works that way. So the rabbis came there to saw that they want to change. But in halacha, I'm explaining in halacha. It's very difficult because the, you're not doing the mitzvah mehudah. We can't say you're not yoitzah, but you're not doing the mitzvah in the mehudah dig away because the mitzvah was to a pesach pesach. The Gemara says so. But the Rebbe didn't go to the different ways of the Kiddush Yeah, no, no. So really, in theory, if you're lighting inside, it should be by the window. That should be the first choice. Yes, not that, by the yeah, that's, that's then halacha. You know, the, the, when do you say Hanedi Saloli? After we like the last guy. Yeah, do you know what the Machlekes is? When to say it? The Machlekes, it's a Mashal and the other Achreina. Machlekes, when to say Hanedi Saloli. You know what I'm saying? Then some say Hanedi Saloli after the first candle, some way to that. What's the reason not to say um, why? Uh, not just Chabad, many have the many after, because Milva Mitzi, you're not supposed to speak out. But the kasha really is, but the key is, we do speak out. You say the irutz, you don't speak out after, uh, you make the key is, key is the mehmet, you know what's called key is the mishav really. When you make the key is, you make first the ashrat, three times, you say a vidi in between. But you say vidi. Not to say anything. That, that's fixed with Rav. So the Rav, Rav, hey, Hanukkah says, learns like the mashal. You should not speak out because you're in the middle of a mitzvah. So we're there also not. Others, others held that it's not, not speaking out, it's saying a neri saloli. It's part of the mitzvah. You know, it's part of the mitzvah. You say, Shalman says, you should say these words out. A neri saloli, shun madikim. What do you say? Certain, certain people look in the sedurim. On the certain ones to speak out. The question is, middle of a mitzvah, you're not supposed to speak out. Right. Just like over Hanayi Salori, you're not supposed to speak out. Remember now, Mashal is the one who says not to do it till you finish. And I think others, other, the other way around. I forgot which way. So two, these two men who are going to bring down in the so chayim. You, you, you have to. Everyone agrees. You have to light one candle. Not everyone agrees. The other uh, well, the question is, the, 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 many have a meaning while they're lighting the rest of the candles, say, oh, okay, I see. And, 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 but other, but you should not, I think the Mashal is the one who says, now I don't remember now which one, but I think it was the Mashal says, well, you're icing in a mitzvah now. now you, the broch is supposed to go on all the, all the natives. The broch of Hadling Neshech Hanukkah is going all the natives. Yeah. So don't speak out now. You finish the mitzvah. It's like your wife is lighting candles. The candles are lit, is, uh, she's doing the mitzvah. You don't speak out in the middle of a mitzvah. Follow? Yeah. That's a soma, soma mak, but the, the, some say, no, that's part of the mitzvah. It's, it's not so bad. So what part of the mitzvah? And there is a lot of part of the mitzvah. He's saying, these are the neidosh, the madlikim, the But some say it's not, so in other words. The other says, but still, you're doing a mitzvah. Wait till you finish it. Oh, so is, is, is the, uh, 
Yeah, yeah it is a mitzvah to say is that. It no, it's a separate. It's not a mitzvah. It's a, the Shalom says you should say it. Oh, okay. Just like Hadain Erev, you make Erev Tashilam. You know, then you say uh, Anusa. This should be the Erev Shaver to carry, to cook, and to bake. So the same way the Shalom says you should say this. We don't have, we don't have. Okay, uh, let me just say another thing. People were asking me. They sell these these uh, nadois. They put in into the into the oil, oil something to make it hard. You know, you ah, could buy the yeah, yeah, yeah. the new one. Yeah, it's a few so years. Then it, then it melts. Then it melts. So they put some chemical in. Doesn't it's not the it's not your olive oil. Ooh, right. so that from uh, oh, so a problem, so. Then. so I, I, you know, I laugh about it, but then someone showed me that they talk about it. But let me explain something. The Mishnah says, Kol the Mechabah says, Kol Hashmanim, all the oils that you can, but you don't like Shabbos, you can like Chanukah. Chanukah use Chalev. You know what Chalev is? Tallow. You don't have to have kosher ones. You don't, uh, but the Ramos says, Mitzah men amifcha, to try to get olive oil. See, you're not, we don't use oil, let me explain something, we don't use the oil of the Bismigdish because the Ner Menoira has to be the Gargir, it was the most expensive oil that you could imagine. It was the first drop of oil that came out from squeezing, and that's it. It was the prime, however you say in English, prime of prime. It was the best of we don't, there's no, the Chazal were not Basakin, they didn't want to make the Tikkun. Because the Gemara says that oil, you have to remember, olive oil was a very expensive item because they didn't have lights. You needed olive oil to cooking. You needed olive oil for lighting. You needed olive oil, for, the people used to smear the body with oil. And that, so that olive oil was very expensive. I mean, it was an expensive guy. Because I didn't want to obligate you. You know, that's why they made uh, the simple shot. That's why they made Mahadrim, Mahadrim, Mahadrim. So Kaponim, you know, you're wrong. So the question in is that if I add something, so you added some chemicals, what's the big deal? It's not, a, it's not, a, I use it. You know, whatever my buys, I use. But I imagine that this, but this year it shouldn't buy such a good quality one. <laughs> That's just bad. Okay. Now, you know, the Mechav brings down a Mechlekes, if you allow it, Enjoy the Hanukkah to use it. So we don't appreciate this because we, Baruch Hashem, have lights of galore. I, I don't know if I said it over here. Uh, we tell people when you light Shabbos lights, you should tell your wife to put the lights on the cover Shabbos. Shabbos light is not a romantic light. It's made to use to see. I don't know if I said it over. I wonder if once I said it over last week. I said over the smag ask in acute kasha. Why do we make a bracha at Lucas Nadois? Why don't we make a bracha on the Cholent? Imagine he asked the kasha, prepare the Cholent, I should make a bracha. Lucas, because at Lucas Nadois is not for now. It gets dark, we have light. That's all that Lucas Nadois is. So it really, you have to light all. You should, I tell my wife to light the bathroom light, the kitchen light, all the light, because there's a chiv Shabbos to have light. Right. Yes, that's what I do. My wife goes around, puts on the lights, tell everyone that's her mitzvah. Because some hold, some place can tell that you're not even yoitz if, if she doesn't put on the light. Because let's face it, your wife's candle lights is You know what the Gemara says? You know, small with all these. Imagine this candle light over here. Shragat to hara You know, a little. Uh, in the middle of the day, lighting a candle, and this light that you have here, or in your, uh, doesn't add anything. So really what you should do, your wife should put on the lights, everything, then put on, that's what she does, put on the hand. The Geshabbos Lecht is made to see. Hanukkah was made only the Shemitzvah not to enjoy it. So you're not really allowed to enjoy the Lecht. 
So the Machaba brings one opinion holds that bar mitzvah you're allowed to. If I want to learn, I want to do something bar mitzvah, I'm allowed to. So there's two days. So there's a, there's a, there's another gemara. The gemara says you're It's very very important. That's in the middle of lighting the Hanukkah lecht, and the f- fire goes out with the shamash. So you can't take the shamash and light from one of the Hanukkah lecht to in order to light because you're lighting a, you're using the mitzvah for the shamash. You, you understand what I just said? You, know, you lit one, and then all of a sudden you want to light the second one, it goes out. The shamash goes out. The shamash is the one that you're lighting. You can't put the shamash now over there to catch fire because you, you, that become you're using it. Uh, the Gemara says, so the, so the, 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 so the, so the Gemara brings down that someone to say, I'm doing a dvar mitzvah. So that depends on the machlokes. If I'm allowed to use the ner chanikel dvar mitzvah, then I will be allowed to light it because I have a tzorich mitzvah. Even if you give him a dvar mitzvah, light one candle from the other candle. Well, the candle our meaning is, is we don't even light one from another. And the reason for this is because he yoitzah the mitzvah with the first ner. So maybe the second one is like, uh, the, mitzvah is the mitzvah was done already. So is Machlikas lighting one manera to another manera? It's Machlikas Rav Shmuel, right? Right. Who are we passing like? We pass the Madlikan, the Kula. Mm-hmm. You could. But only the Chiyav to Chiyav, not to Hashamash, the Moshe, because that's, a, that's not a Chiyav. I, used, I always quote the Gemara when people complain why people passing like one or shitter. You know, like uh, uh, Chabad follows the Shulchan Kharav. So the Gemara says, Rabbi did the same thing. Rabbi said, I followed Rabbi to everything besides three things. Okay, three exceptions. Yeah. Chabad probably find those are three exceptions. Probably there's, there's a few exceptions that don't follow the Shulchan Kharav. Right? Like the what? Anyways, um, there's another important thing. We paskin had look at a mitzvah. That means yeah, when you light the candle, it has to be on the place. If you light the Hanukkah lech and you put it on another place, you know, we're passing, we're not Yoitza. If you had a mind in the beginning, well, if you did it later, you shouldn't do it. Would you let? Let's say you light the Hanukkah lech, and then you decide, you know what, it's not a good place, let me move it to another place. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, you should, look at the light it in the place and don't move it. We pass again if you move it away. If, if we, uh, that, that means like this. If you had a beginning of mind to move away, you're not Yoitza. You lit it, and then for some reason you got nervous with the children, then you're Yoitza. But you, get, you have to light it in the place where you're going to. Shabbos is also that way. Shabbos, you're not supposed to light the. And the Shulchanor says in Hilcha Shabbos, you're not allowed to light it. Many people do it in the sukkah. They light it in the sukkah, the, 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 then they move it. Shulchanor says you shouldn't do that. Because we pass in also Shabbos had luka is a mitzvah, so I I don't let my wife light in the sukkah. Period. Because she's not going to leave it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I tell her just put on the light in the sukkah. That's our shabbos. She lights inside. Don't worry, my wife, uh, you know, the, the woman, the lecht, you know, the, that uh, that emesaram, but you yoitzer with the lights. My wife was in the hospital for six weeks. I told her to, you know, they bought in these, uh, you know, the cedars. It it's it a joke. It doesn't give light off. It makes them feel. <laughs> makes them feel. I told her to make a broch on the night light. Yeah, what did you say? So what, at what point are you doing this? Let's say you light the nerd for half an hour, then you decide to move it. So you're sure about well, it. Well, if you have once, it's a little half hour, you write some. Make it a little write some. Even if it blew out in the middle of the past, and then it was enough in the beginning for it. Yeah, so you'd be like, that's all it's got to burn is a half hour. Is, is, is if you lit it, and then 10 minutes later, you decide, you know, it's not You safe. shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Yes, but if you change your mind, then it's okay. That means you do a and all of a sudden things happen, it's not so bad. But the uh, you're not supposed to do that. So I don't know, I think I mentioned this last week. We passed in that women are obligated, cotton are obligated. The question is, can a cotton be might see a lady? So that's two tritsim and toises. I don't know, did I explain it here? I'm not remember if I did. 
You know, the, you know the, the, a, a child under bar mitzvah, lots of people ask me this question. Did the child is under bar mitzvah and the husband is away, can the child light, no, there is no husband, can the child light to be mitzvah, the, the, the mother and the sisters? What about the mother? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 for sure. Sure could be mitzvah the child. It's not isha beso, but can the child light to be mitzvah the mother? So that's two teritzim and toises. What, what does that mean? Because uh, the whole chiv of a child is a drabanan. The chanukah is another drabanan. It's like a trade drabanan be mitzvah chad drabanan. You know what that means? Lighting chanukah lecht is a drabanan. To have a child lecht, it's also only a drabanan because that's chenuch. So it's trade drabanan. So Tosis says maybe you cannot. Other rishonim hold no. Tosis says maybe other to no. It's a drabanan, so you can be mitzvah. Getcheder, we say not to. We say that the, 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 I always tell the woman, light, you shall light, not in the shikafel, you shall light them in the This is co- quite common, unfortunately. Travel, or or uh, divorced. Yeah. And then I, you know, and let me explain this. Let me explain another very famous question. Because this, this, uh, a few people asked me. One, the first one who asked me this question this week was, his mother lives in the valley. She decided this year she's not lighting the menorah. You have to come light the menorah. She's 20 years old, Mona. Every year she did it. But for some reason this year, she told her son. yeah, you got to come to the valley and light the menorah for me. Mm-hmm. So I asked him, no, no, he's a married oh, guy. Yeah. He has his own, own family. I, I asked him, his mother is, you know. 100%. He's, no, she's 100%. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know. I don't know what. So, can you light for someone in their house? So, so, so the question is, uh, you know, there's a famous question in the Rishonim. There's certain thing you can make a shliach, certain mitzvahs, certain mitzvahs you can't make a shliach. I can't make you shliach the parant film. That's called a mitzvah shebegufoi. That's a gemara. Uh, uh, you know what that means? Something your body needs to film. I can't tell you. I'll be yoyish with your mezuz and your door. You have to put on film. I can't tell you, you know, you put on film for me. You can't make shlichas on that. Our chomets, to get rid of the chomets, to clean the house of chomets, I can make a shlich. But, you know, I can't tell you, tell, you know, eat exercise matzah for me. You have to do it. Certain mitzvahs, we do fine. You can make, you can make a shlich for a bris. You know, the father makes a shlich the moil. You can make a, a, a bris. But, you know, Ben, you can also make a shlich. Big machlikas. You know, I don't know if you know that in Pidyan Ben, there's any coin in the crowd, there's a big, big tumul about a kashliach, but most, I'm going to go with the whole people, but you make, can you make a shliach on lighting the night? The chay of a person, or the chay in the house. So, uh, there's one achna earlier chay, we say now, but most of the chay disagree. They help, I could make you shliach, but you have to light in my house, not in your house. I could tell you, listen, now I'm traveling here, or I'm busy, I'm not feeling well, I'm in the house, maybe someone is in the hospital, you could come to his house and shlich as a light for him. That's not Nerish Shebeisoy. Nerish means if someone, there was a, a balabos, my shul is in the hospital, you know, he's all nervous, and I told your wife is lighting a yaitza. Oh, okay. Don't let in the hospital, so the body let him in the But I could put him, you know, you know, the ikradin, his wife was lighting her home is Yaitza. But if his wife would not be home, she'd be by her daughter, and she'd be lighting, he's not Yaitza. It's not his house. You understand this? This is a very important thing. It means your the Chazal wanted you should light in your house and your Yaitza, you and your wife with one of them. Your Yaitza. It's very interesting. They wanted Neri Shibesai. You know, I mentioned. I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm getting a little older, I don't remember what I mentioned last week. And that. But uh, the, one of the questions people ask me, one guy asked me that his wife is coming home from college, from, uh, and it comes home very late, so when should he light the menorah? You know, we tell people you shall really light the beginning of the time. So I said to him that the, the Maril Diskin, she light Diskin, one time the, everyone was waiting and he didn't light, he was learning. He, he, didn't, he didn't have any gang Karebbe. Karebbe, you don't ask questions, he's going to Rovin Yerushalayim. He was not lighting. So finally, he, he, his wife comes in, he lights. So Rabbi, I mean, well, you know what that yikifadin means? That's an expression you want to use a let 
the, led the halacha me poke a hole through the mountain. You have to lie in time, your wife is not there, too bad. So he said, but you know the Gemara says, on Hanukkah, if you have a one ner, it's good for Shabbos or Hanukkah. You have to forget Hanukkah and light for Shabbos. Why? Shulam Ba'is is first. Shulam Ba'is, that's not not a gizmar he meant to say. Chazal made ner ishibesoi, they talk made it this way. The, your husband and the wife and the children who live at home, that's what they made it. But that is, if you're lighting your house, but if the wife is lighting, is by her daughter lighting, it can't be Moitza. You understand? But his son is going home to her tomorrow. But so he could make a shliach. What about their Shabbos? Can the wife make uh, someone in the house? Yes, she can make a shliach. Do you know that, I, I don't know, I, uh, there's a famous Mugen Avram. I, I think I mentioned this last time. The Mugen Avram has, the, there's a famous, they had, they, a woman had to go to the mikveh Friday night. They didn't have a bath at home. So they went to the mikveh to take a bath. So when should they light candles? The Mugen Avram says, should you light, but a woman lights in Mechabal Shabbos. And too early, Yossi can't light. Mugen Avram says, you have a goy light for you, Yossi Yitzah. Oh, he brings a rishon. And the host can't go. But everyone agrees, yeah. yes. Do you know the Shulchan Chah brings it down? <laughs> oh, the the goy can't make a bracha. That's what the Pais can talk, who's going to make the bracha. But the end, it's to be Pasuk. And no, don't have a goy. He could light for her, Bishlichas. Yeah. yeah. You're home all the time, your wife lights candles? No. no. Yeah. And you know, what? Usually I'm not home, because I leave to the shul early. I'm Yitzhak with her lighting. I happen to put on the lights in my office, the Kovach Shabbos. I always debate, maybe I should make a bracha. You know what I mean? But uh, I learned the whole Shabbos, and I, I learned it in my office. But, uh, but I'm Yitzhak at home, I have a chiv at home. So if someone's turning on the lights in shul for Shabbos, so they, they, should they make a bracha? Why not? But the meaning is not to, I don't know why. I, have really, I, I, really, I looked around more than once for a reason why not. I don't have a good answer. It's good. It's a, it's a chiv to put on. Why you have a chiv to put on your office to go with Shabbos. So if someone, if the, if the guy likes for you, can you make the bracha with the guy? That's the what Gavron talks about. Two hours later? No, 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 no. no. That's the question is when, if the, the, that's what they scream, the chreinim, what does the Mugavrom mean, the Goy Shalaita, who's going to make the bracha? When are you going to make the bracha? You know, okay, but, um, on, but everyone agrees, Shabbos Lech, you can make a shliach. I could ask you, do me a favor, put on the light, have me in mind. Light the candles, have me in mind. If it's Lech on Shabbos, can the Goy light after sunset? Well, if there's no light at home, you'll have been a shmush, you're allowed to. Yeah. The no. No, no. That has to be with people. That's the for thing, sure. That's the point of the Lord in the Rome. Same thing. Yeah, but... Uh, no, that's only... No, Mirach was only made to the Tzorich Shabbos, not the Tzorich Shabbos. This is Hanukkah. You don't like it, you don't like it. If the woman lights Mamas before Shia, she has to make a bracha right after Shia? Yeah, if she lit, once she lit, she can make the bracha. You swear to make a bracha first, no? I, I Oh. <laughs> I asked, I, 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 someone told me, uh, this is cute, someone told me that he doesn't because they never told him to be annoying many Isn't it true? So, yeah, someone told me, I, I saw him having in Chabad the next door to me, you know, next to the Levi Yitzchak Shul. Oh, we see him, I said, how come you daven? He said, I never said to my father, you should keep on davening Svard. Anyways, so well, 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 we got a first the problem. Lighting the nera, the mikvah is that when the nera should be lit or is on the first mikvah? So, so, so most of the chayim hold you can make a shliach. It's not a mitzvah should be gifoy. A few of you are chayim hold, okay. That's I don't know, I'm, I, I, I see kama everyone. I forgot, I wrote it down, my mishnah buddha. He fasted, sits here, he says you can make a shliach. He says you can make a shliach. He also submits on the first. No, he says you can make a shliach. I'm almost sure that it's a day when the Chayim Hodzai is going to So if the person is out of town and, and they don't have... Yeah, but if he's but he out of town, then his wife is Yitzhan. If out of town, he can have someone to light. But the biggest problem is what happens if he's flying to Etzisaro? And he's already, you know... Uh, you know, he's... In, 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 that is another question I mentioned last week. It, it, a guy took a flight today. I'm sure a guy took a flight today. It, you know, the one o'clock flight. Yeah. And you know what's going to happen? By time, five hours later, it, he, you know, 
it's going to be, it depends, I don't know how the plane goes, it's a direct flight. Uh, if it's going to go to, uh, up north, it's going to get light with the time his wife lights. So that's the question. What did you say? Yeah, that's my question. If he doesn't get light, he know, you know, because but he ever can light all night, he's yoitzah with his wife candles. But if it's already, you know, if it goes... Then he's, uh, I, I, uh, so a guy told me he's flying with his wife and he happens to have a daughter to light. For each, both of a couple are flying. I said, if you're going to Etz Yisrael, he's always saying, my mitzvah, put them in a mitzvah. <laughs> so I said to the guy, going to Etz is a big mitzvah. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if a businessman is in China, let's just say. Yeah, he could light in China. Huh? So why isn't he light in China? So I'm saying, if he doesn't have the stuff, somebody else needs it? Someone at home, no. Because it's a different dateline. China is a different. Uh, no, no, I'm saying he's in China. He's there. So who's going to lie to him in LA? It's a different time no, zone. Can somebody there? Is there any possibility of being able to lie to somebody else? If he's staying by somebody yeah. else, can somebody? Yeah. Oh, that is another halacha. This is when I'm explaining this now. There's another halacha. One halacha is the one could lie for the whole family, but family means. Your children live with you all, to, all year round. Your wife lives with you. Even a mother-in-law hangs out with you. A guy asked me, his mother-in-law moved in? You know, <laughs> 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 he told me himself. Which I do. <laughs> <right? laughs> so she's living now there. So one lights for everyone. What happens if a guy comes for a guest and he's going to eat the sleep there for Shabbos, Lamosha? Shabbos, Hanukkah. So then he could, he, the Chazal say he should be shtatav bepruta. That means you give a pruta and it should be included in your yaitza. You know what that means? That you give a, 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 a pruta. Pruta is a kneko. Say, I am with your lecht over here, yaitza. That is not yaitza. He's not yaitza. He has to. He has to light. If, if he did, was not mishtat, let's say he, they didn't know the halacha, the balabos let, and he calls you up. You know, I, I'm a guest here for Shabbos. The Bobo's literary was, I, I didn't give a putter. You're not Yoitza. You have to go light Hanukkah Lech now. But he doesn't live there. What should he do? Yeah, he's there for Shabbos. He's there for a day, for 24 hours, let's say. Yeah, either he's Mishtat of a Pruta, or he lights himself. So the girls don't like to light. Maybe Chabad is different, but girls, my daughter's in Etzisor. So, so she went for Shabbos to my other daughter. So I said, just tell them, give her a Pruta. That's it. She should give my daughter to the, to, to the sister. Right, so she's mishtatev. I say mishtatev in English. She become partners. You become. See, the many the, the many chreim learn from the day the salucha that has to be yours. You know, the many mitzvahs have to be yours. Mushal esrik has to be yours. The the ran learns the chaniklech has to be yours too. And when the guy's mishtatev, it becomes his too. Other mitzvahs, uh, uh, esrig, you cannot have shit. This has to be everything yours. But, but here, the Torah also, let's say you have something that's not yours. A guy stole, and there's a left in yish, let's say. Is he yoitza or not yoitza? Many hold it's not yours, then you're not yoitza. Because you see, the whole Indian of giving a pruta, what is the whole Indian giving a pruta? I become a partner. She become mine. That's how the Ram learns pshat. I become mine, you become one. That's what he yoitza. The reason he has to hear the baruch, and I mentioned this last week, is a big machlekes. If you someone lights for you, if you still have to make the baruch shus and nisim. Some learn that you yoytz the lech, you don't have to hear the baruch. The only one who has to make shus and nisim is a homeless. Remember, I explained this yes last week. Tracer learns that the, the old baruch, the digmola says the guy she says shus and nisim was a homeless. Tracer learns was was uh, was. Uh, the guy has no house, so he should, but anyone is either lit for him, or he made a shliach. You know, others learn differently. Others learn there's a chiv. Others learn, you know, other learn that, that you have to make usinism. Either you have to hear it, or you have to say it. So that's why the mini is to be at the lighting, should be able to answer all my usinism. Well, they don't live in the same... Uh, we are living. I mean, yeah, yeah, but it's not. A, yeah, separate. That's not a one household. We have a separate household. It's you, you know. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not neder yishe beisoy. So I'm akbed. Right. Exactly. What about in yeshiva? They're all in the same room. So. 
else, why can't you, why can't you chip in? Yeah, I know the girls, and one, girl, one father came to me, he told me he's the daughter's in seminary, and the seminary, one girl lights and waits everyone, and he's very upset. Why are you so upset? He's very upset. The net is basically. He told me that uh, he called the principals, that I gave money for that. I says he terms does not to give money. They're all living together. Your daughter's there, going to be there for six months now, till Pesach. So it's one household and one collide to be married without the Shtatvis. You don't have to. They're all living together. So in theory, he should the same way. That's an Hanama, but boys always light for themselves. Right, that's a separate issue. We, our mini Ashkenaz, and every, every male lights. I think it was, um, it does light. So, Rabbi, if a, if a case where the wife comes home later and the husband, uh, you, you gave the example of the rub who, uh, who held off uh, lighting so his wife won't, what if he lives on time? Two hours later, his wife comes. Can he light again? Well, what did, she, what did she have in mind? She could light whatever she wants. Christians are brought up. I didn't say, I, can she? Yeah, did you? If he had gone to a public place, he could have he could have lit. You know, we say it's a minute. Yeah, it's a, but but a when he lit so the right time, he had he had nothing. Did she have hepach kavana? You know what hepach kavana means? So not to be yitzah, or she thought you know whatever you do, or didn't have anything in mind. If she had nothing in mind, you know, then she was yitzah automatically. The, if she was happy, Kavana means she had a man. I don't want to be yoytz of my husband. I want to come light myself. Then she could come light herself. Or he can light for her. He could light for her too, right? With the bracha. With the bracha, yes. So she had nothing in mind. And then she was yoytz. She wants them She was yoytz already. But she wants right. them lit. Without a bracha, you can do whatever you want. I mentioned last week the mashal holds that you know, even happy Kavana doesn't help. The Mashal holds Nerish Beisoy even have is you were Yoitzer. It doesn't have It's like a, a, like Shabbos Lecht. Your wife put on the Shabbos Lecht. You were Yoitzer. Finished. The, the house is lit. You could say, I don't want to be Kavana. You don't have a mitzvah, maybe. Mashal holds that you doesn't help. Oh, we don't pass on Mashal. We pass on. If you talk out of mind not to be Yoitzer, good luck. So if you eat the sleep there, you collect in the hotel. But the question is, on the plane, if you just uh, so the, uh, the people were calling me this week, I'm here eating long, supper by my parents, and schlep back. And, uh, someone called me that is, uh, you know, that they all the whole family said, and I said, you can't light there. He says, can't light there. I don't know. Where, uh, and he says, well, I'm gonna get home at eleven o'clock. I said, light at home. What should I do? It's not your dwelling. It has to be your where you're living. If you sleep, then eat there. Then for the twenty-four hours, it's and called. So that, that's a mechlekes in the Gemara. That's a mechlekes in the Paschim. But which is more? So a pastor, as you ask Bochon, where, where would you like to hang out most of the day? In the dorm room. That's where they, so really, but they don't allow yeshivas to light in the dorm room. They were telling me the Bochon, the speaker, one yeshiva that did light and the whole place burned down. And the place burned down. It was a terrible fire. You were the... Oh, they were telling me about this. One of the guys was saying the whole place. That none of the yeshivas allowed to lie, allow in the dormitory. When I was growing up, no one was allowed to lie in the dormitory. That's a machlekes. So it's a machlekes in the Gemara. Who, who are you quoting? Who, who is this? That's a machlekes, in the Gemara is a machlekes shishin rav ishmu legaba erev. What is the main thing? Eating or sleeping. But the Gemara comes out, everyone agrees, if I really want to, the, the, an erev. But the Gemara says, everyone agrees, if I want to, the place that I want to sleep is my hangout, really. I have no aid, so I have to eat here. But you know, Shiva Bacham, they, you know, they ask them, where do you want to be? In the dining room? I hate the dining room. I just come, I have to eat, you know, I like my dinner. So then uh, uh, Moshe has all truth about it. He writes that the main thing is the sleeping. It's true, the Chazal say eating, but that's when there's no conflict. But you eat in one place and sleep in the other place, Jets is that way. So a mile away, they, they sleep in one place, and a mile away is the yeshiva where they eat. 
So a bealocha, you know, that's the question. What is the main thing? Follow. That's the question. But the Moshe says, Hayoyz, most people would like to eat with their sleep. I asked a, a newlywed. It's a, he asked me that he's sleeping and he has a back house, nice back house. But he uh, asked, where do you would like, really like to eat? I would like to eat the wife alone. Was my, I'm a star of my shriga now, just newlywed. He says, so I said, the light where you sleep. He would really like to, uh, his privacy where he sleeps. But how about eating before every mitzvah, you're not supposed to eat. Okay. So the person who's going to get home at 11 o'clock, right? If you make a simon, you tell someone to shame it, or you set your clock, your alarm, to remind you it's okay. Uh-huh. So if you have a, uh, 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 a regular <coughs> marriage that you go to, let's say, at 10 o'clock at night. If you go by kvies, that's good enough. If you go by kvies, right. That, that injury time? That's your mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But I, I mentioned last week, like the tchile, if you own balabas, you have to write, light a tchile this man. Rav, please can hold that. The person that's working for somebody can't come home, he can't come home. But you, I think you own balabas. Yeah. So you shall light as soon as it gets dark. Whatever, you know, this man, Chabab, you watch 30 minutes after the shkia. I made a cheshmer, it's 31 minutes after the shkia here in California. What did you say? Yeah, about 31 minutes is this where it gets dark. Another thing, Chazal will have to say halal. So someone asked me, he said, if he halal, is he yoytze or not? He forgot. He said, you know, the, the, he said, then he, you know, he goes, to, goes to another meeting. He hears them saying, oh, what did I just do? <laughs> so you're not Yoytza. You know, if you skip one word of Halal, you're also not Yoytza. Oh. Halal is, a, is more important than Shemanasi. You skip a word, something Shemanasi is not good for But Halal, you have to say, Kisidram, you can't even skip a word. You skip, skip the word in Halal, you're not Yoytza. Because it's a Chodesh is different. The Chodesh, it's only a minute, but a Chanukah is a Chiv. The Chazal will Machayv to say Halal, so you have to say every word. Well, it is always man Krishna way up to uh, it depends. Before what? Yes, and they they and they saying halal. So the, it's a mechleik. Is if it's chutzi halal, we say you should say middle of sukkah dezimra, because chutzi halal you should say with a minion, but a regular halal you should wait till after davening. You follow what I just said? No. Chatzi halal is chodesh. Yes. We want to say the tzibur because you make a bracha. We don't want when we yoytz with the bracha. So the priest can say you should say middle of uh, of sukkah dezimra. Then Hanukkah, we say complete halal, you shouldn't be mafsik. You should daven and then don't say halal. No, I'm saying before davening. Oh, before davening, yes, you could say. Also counts for sukkot, where you have to say every word? Yeah, sukkot also, yes. Can you say... Never to full halal. Can you answer Kaddish? Can you say halal? At the end of each period, yes. Ben Aprokim, you answer Kaddish. It's like... It's like... It's like Berches Krishma. So, Ben Aprokim, he answered. Ben Aprokim. In the back, you have a guy who has a sit-down. Yeah, yeah. No, in Halal, Ben Aprokim. Not in Shema, Ben Aprokim. No, Ben Aprokim, he can't say any of mine. This sit has it? Probably has an English. I don't read English so well. Says yes, yes, yes. Ben a prokimi answer. Oh, oh, oh. Does say you do. Rabbi, go back to your last last part. You must have heard of me. My 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 family's coming home late. They wanted me to lunch. They're not very late. But my son, I need to put in the bed. He's a three year old. So I lived in the area with him, and I sang the bracha for him for for him at least. He can't do a straight bracha. Was I yitzah from that wedding? 
You lit with him. You didn't have a mind to light. You just lit with him. Yeah, you know, if you especially said the bracha just to teach him, you didn't have a mind to be yaitza. Other rabbi had a mind to be yaitza later with your, when your wife comes home. You had a mind differently. Let me just see what else I wrote down over here. Are you taking a flight tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we get. <laughs> <laughs> and I, don't, I go to school in the uh, MIS school. It's like maybe on the 8th or the 8th or the 8th. What do you say? I don't understand the question. If, if I go to school and I, can I turn the lighting of the candle? No, the no even the one who lights in the shul is not Yetzir. He has to relight at home with the Brocha. Even if he wants to be Yetzir, he cannot be Yetzir. Because this is not his home. The only one who's yoitz in the shul is the times of the Gemara. The homeless used to sleep in the shul. The, you know, homeless is not a new phenomenon. You know that. The, I always tell people the, the, the world was the same way. The homeless even used to sleep in the shuls. The window. The question is lighting. The question, the question was, do we light this way or we light this way? Yeah. The mini goylem is most people light this way. There's one shit that wants to say that you should light from right to left. So just we usually go from where we lit the first night. Right. Light up. The others are not. That yeah. that just when like when you write, how do we write in Lushna Kodesh? We go from right to left. Yeah, for you, for you. So I write from right to left. Whoever you like, like you. Yes. Okay, so the first candle should be on the right. Correct. Correct. That's like men on that costume. Ask everyone. Most of the people know that way. Any other questions? I I wrote something else. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh. You know, there's a special in the Santa Aloha, which everyone asks. You know, the Gemara says, if you have a few doors, let's say you have a door going out, you live in the corner. You have a door here, a door there, you have to light in each door. What would you say? Uh, Ayn. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, the Gemara says, if you have two doors into your house, let's say you live in the corner. So one door, the front, and then, or many people have a door coming into the alley. You have more than one door. You have to light at each door. That's not a sign. So the, there's a question. We, we, and I, we normally, not a sign is never on a mitzvah. Not a sign is always on a iser. I see you going to a restaurant. The Mishra Sheikh Noruch says, but, uh, you know, you shouldn't serve a uh, chol uh, of you know, soy milk, unless it's in a bottle of soy milk. Not a sign on a mitzvah. You know what I mean? Like, I think you didn't do a mitzvah. Well, why is there it's very, one, there's a very famous what, question what you didn't light and it's a very modern azach. he knows that I have two entrances oh, I uh, how, how he's done the kav choyf that it, there's two entrances if he didn't light this side he probably didn't light the other side hello you gotta take a look mm. but we make such a it's the only place on a mitzvah we make a matter sign problem it's very interesting the reason is but we have no choice. It was a school oh, Today, today, that's. That's that's the that's the question. When when 
the question always in, by Jewish people, when things change so drastically, do we change the aloha or become conservative? <laughs> so that, that depends. If you're chassid, you're going to light. Uh, if you follow the aloha, you're allowed. Uh, no, that's how it works. Anyways, uh, but answering why tak is the maras aim, it's very interesting. Why is the maras aim? The reason the maras aim because the ner Hanukkah was made of pesimanissa for other people. Pesimanissa is not the going. Many people think Pesimanissa is the goyim. Nothing but the goyim. For me, my neighbor should see I, I lit Hanukkah. The Pesimanissa is for us. I thought the Pesimanissa is for your household. For everyone to see. Yeah. No, the household, no, my household saw me light. But you pass by my house should see it also. That's what Yigmudah says. You can only light when the people walk on the street. Yigmudah doesn't say half hour. Yigmudah says, Shetichle tarmen good tarmen dor. I mean, the people walk. Because the Hanukkah was made for the other Jewish people to see. That's a big mechlekes. The Orach says that we. That's a big mechlekes. Orach says that we Yidden. There's one Rishon that says they're going. One of the Rishonim says uh, some say they mean that. There's a whole Arichas about that. But uh, the, no, no, but coming back, oh, but the idea of Hanukkah lech, the idea was the other people. So that's why there's such a fuss about Narasaim. You never find Maras in the mitzvah. You know, I, I didn't see you shake a lulav. I'm Maras I'm going to shake later. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't find. I think by, it's also because since everyone was at outside, even if the lulav would have been put out, they would have seen the lulav outside. Oh, you maybe took it in. No, no, no. But this is more interesting. You have two entrances. I remember I was young. I remember this going to go into my head when I was a young boy learning this. I have two entrances. You look. Why do you judge me so quickly? I mean. Because the Ner Mitzah Hanukkah was per Simanissa. The other people should see. That's what it was. You don't find the Mara sign. Think about it. See. If you have two doors, go to the She said, out. Two sides. They're, they're big houses, they border on two different streets. If they border on two different streets, right? Light both windows. Both windows. What's the answer? But we don't do that. What's the answer? What? What's the answer? Why, why is Mara Simon? Because the whole Hanukkah left was to show off to others. Not, not for the going. My neighbor should see. That was the whole Hanukkah. Not, it, not just I should light. The mitzvah, of course, you should light. But the mitzvah is also my neighbors to see the Hanukkah left. Chazal, when they made the mitzvah, they didn't say just inside the house. The Getchila said, when you light candles, you should light outside the house. That's what they said. That's that that you have to learn chassidus. You have to ask the rabbi who teaches chassidus. There's many deep explanations why that is. Why Hanukkah? Uh, you no, know. I'm not asking why Hanukkah. Why? No. I'm asking what, how, what the Pesulim is about by Truma people. Yeah, because that's, the, you know, when uh, we, you, uh, let me explain this. I always say this to people. When, when we quetch and get angry, make a big tumult, right? I always tell when we criticize our wives, we are, we do it very quickly. We are mazrizim agdim in the and we say, Mitabren, right? And you come and say, Thank you. Shachamas, uh, I have to go get a card in the store. What's the name of the con uh, company again? Uh, Hallmark. Uh, Hallmark is a multi billion dollar business because we don't know how to say thank you and I don't know how to say I love you. So it became a multi billion dollar business. And, yeah, no, but the, the, the truth is that the, when it comes to thanking, we want to thank, you know, there's a carbon toida. You hear this event, the Santa Zach. The carbon toida, according to Chaim Nushir, 60 pounds flour. I asked the chef, how many people do you need for 60 pounds flour? So you see it at least 150, 180 people. So it means if I bought a carbon toida, and has to be eaten, uh, 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 has to be eaten, if you shech today till midnight. No, toida is one day. So the toy that had to be eaten by midnight. So if I want to thank a great miracle happened to me, it doesn't have to be such a great miracle. You know, you're the young, you know, flying over the ocean. 
The guy was in the hospital. So he has to invite 180 people. Shouldn't be nicer. Because why? Because we, otherwise we, wouldn't, we don't know how to thank. Kvetch, anger. Guy told me he made a whole website because he's so angry. He's going to teach uh, someone. Uh, <laughs> told me he wrote a website and he, he should know this product. He, well, I, I, I didn't understand what he was dashing, but, uh, but he made a website because he's angry. But thanking, we don't know how to do. So the, 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 the pirsim is for everyone. We are thanking the Rabbani Shleirim to thanking that's a... Um, so back, back on the, in the house on the corner, so if you have to like two, you, you, what, how do you do the bracha? Do you say one bracha? Yeah, one, one bracha, no, that's it, Absolutely. one bracha. One bracha. Only one bracha. So, okay, so when do you do Hanera Salavim? You have to do light both. Yeah. So you light one and Hanera Salavim. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... Yeah, what? probably. Good one. So one night is Salavim. After you said all, all of them say Hanera Salavim. What do you say? What? No one does it anymore. It says in Shulchan Aruch, we don't do it. We don't. We do it in the house. That the Shulchan Aruch says we don't wear the malas ayin because we light inside. The question is now, if you live in Eretz Yisrael, what should you do? But if you are lighting outside, if someone is lighting outside or monitoring their window, then they should have their ears back. Yeah, people know uh, because if the guy going the other side it says probably lit inside. But let's say in it's a I was told ninety percent of Bnei Brak lights outside. They should. They have two do- entrances. They would have to light to both the doors. So this this doesn't apply here in, in the brain. No, it doesn't apply. It applies only when you no, have entrances. No. I want to. I, I, his question was why, you know, this the question is Neri Shibesai. So let me tell you. Uh, 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 if you give me permission, Chassidish Shavar to say. Uh, um, you know that um, the Gemara says Zuche ish ve'isha shechene b'neim. So the ish has a yud, and uh, and the uh, isha has a hey. So the ish really comes. The word ish goes on the passion, on the uh, intimacy the husband has with his wife. When a person does the intimacy the right way, mama shechene shoyer b'neim. You know, if a person doesn't do it the right way, then. But the Zuche Ish Ve'isha, it's a Moira de Gezach. The Zoe says this week, when Yehuda got, met Yosef, if they would have made true Sholem, they would have been Kapura Savoyinus. Whenever there's a Yichet, two levels get together, you know, Yehuda is Malchus, Yosef Yisod, they would have fixed it together, it would have been uh, uh, unbelievable Zach. The Ner Ish is is also the fire, the fire of the house. So there's two fires, there's a Shabbos Lecht is the fire too, and there's Neir Sha and Neir Hanukkah is the fire. That is the Eish that a husband and wife shares. One he does, and one she does. The Hanukkah Lech is the man is in charge. And, the, and, and Shabbos Lech is the wife. You know, Shabbos is called female, the Shabbos Malkasa. So that's why the wife is in, is in Shabbos, the Shabbos Lech, she's in charge. And the man, and the Hanukkah is more a male thing. That's what the Hanukkah is. It's lighting outside. Who goes outside? The man is supposed to go outside. But that brings Taka the Shechina. The Shechina represents the Ner. The Ner Maruvi. How did you know the Shechina? We showed you the Rabbi mentioned the Ner Maruvi. That was the Zuchi Ishvi. Shechina Benayim. Okay.